Hello everyone, I miss you all and I hope you are doing well. Um, while we are doing our remote learning, I wanted to remind you of all the Baltimore County Public Library resources that are available to you. So the first thing is OverDrive and what you can do with this is you can download it to your phone or your tablet and you can use your student ID number to log into there. You don't have to create an account and then you can get a bunch of ebooks and audiobooks absolutely free. My children are using it and they love it. So next thing we have is Ask a Librarian. If you go to the BCPL website, you can see the Ask a Librarian on the front page. And there are places where you can text a question and you can email questions for um, librarians to help you out. Next, we have BrainFuse. And in BrainFuse, we looked at this earlier this year, there is the writing lab where you can submit a writing sample and get feedback about your grammar, style, content. There's Skill Surfer where you can practice things like division and reading and other um, important skills. You can send a question any time of the day and you'll get a response within 24 hours. And there's also the live tutoring, which is available from 2 p.m. till midnight, seven days a week. And there are also people who speak Spanish as well in the live tutoring. Our next database is Novel K-8+. This is a great place to find recommendations for fiction and nonfiction books. There's book reviews, book lists, and lots of great stuff there. So our next database, Middle Search Plus, this is designed as a full text database. It provides um, magazines and reference books covering subjects such as history, current events, science, and sports. It also includes thousands of biographies and primary source documents, plus over a million photos, maps, and flags. That one looks like fun. Next, we have Gale in Context. In this one, you will find support to help you with pretty much any subject in school, including stuff like your ELA class, your science class, and your social studies. Next, we have the Science Reference Center, which is obviously going to be helpful in your science class. There's going to be content from encyclopedias, reference books, magazines, journal, and more. You'll find all kinds of interesting things about science there. Next, we have Mango Languages. Here you can go ahead and practice Spanish if you're taking that as your world language this year, or you can pick from any of the other 71 languages that are available for you to try on Mango Languages. Next, there's a World Book Encyclopedia in Spanish. So this one is great if you speak Spanish or if you are practicing your Spanish for class. So if you need any help finding any of these databases, your login information to get to any of these databases, please message Ms. Farrell on Schoology. Make sure you stay safe, keep learning, and read a good book. Bye.